Hi, this is Mr. Judd, and welcome to Genetics 2, The Structure of DNA. In this video, we're going to talk about how DNA is actually built and the chemicals that make it up. DNA is an information storing molecule. So looking at its chemical details will reveal the code of DNA. The key terms for today are the double helix, sugar phosphate backbone, nitrogenous bases, base pairs, nucleotide, and complementary. In our last video, we talked about how DNA is a twisted ladder shape. So I'll draw that again. And there are the rungs of the twisted ladder. That twisted ladder shape is called the double helix. Double helix. To get an idea of how DNA actually stores information and what its chemical makeup truly is, we're going to have to look in greater detail. The first thing I'd like to do is flatten it out. It's a little easier to study that way. If you flatten it out, it looks like a regular old ladder. And it has two parts, the rungs of the ladder and the uprights. It has two uprights on either side. We discussed last time that the rungs of the ladder are actually called bases. Now we're going to take a look at the, the ladder of DNA to see what chemicals actually make it up. This diagram right here is once again another cartoon but it gives it a little bit more detail on the structure and makeup of DNA. The first thing we'll talk about is the sides or uprights of the ladder. You'll notice that there are only two chemicals that make it up. There are these purple dots and green circles. They are alternating. Purple dot, green circle, purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. The purple represents what's called a phosphate group. The green represents a sugar, and that sugar is called deoxyribose. You know it's a sugar because it ends in ose, and you might recognize that word because it lends its name to DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid. The uprights of the latter are actually rather boring. They're just there for structure. They don't actually provide any information. The interesting part are the rungs or bases of the latter, and there are four chemical bases. They go by the names adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. I'm going to write those in. So these four chemicals make up the bases or rungs of the ladder. You'll notice that they almost always come in pairs. A is always matched with T. Every time you see an A, there's a T next to it. And every time you see a T, there's an A next to it. So they are a pair. C and G also come in pairs. They are always found together. Those are called the base pairs. Now let's talk about how we would actually read DNA. Only one side of DNA is read at a time. So to read this DNA, it would be, and I'll write it down, A, T, C, G, G, T. There are six bases in this small fragment of DNA. In your entire genome, there are hundreds of thousands of bases spelling out all sorts of information. But this is really a code. If I just gave you the code, I bet you could give me what's called the complementary sequence. The complementary sequence is what would be found next to it in DNA. So you just use the base pairing rule to do that. I'm going to draw a line under this, and I'm going to write what's called the complementary sequence. It's pretty easy. A always matches with T. T is with A. C with G. How did I do? Did I make any mistakes? Good. This is called the complementary. Complementary sequence. One last uh, piece of information I want to get across to you is this, and that is one base plus one sugar plus one phosphate group gives you what's called a nucleotide. It is a name for those three structures put together. If I had put a T there, it would also have been a nucleotide, but it would have been a thymine nucleotide. And if I 
put a C there, it would have been a cytosine nucleotide. If you were asked to build DNA from scratch, nucleotides are what you'd ask for. They contain one base, one sugar, and one phosphate group, and you could arrange them in different ways to spell out different codes in the genetic language. Nucleotides are bonded together, and so that last little red dot is actually a chemical bond. It bonds the base pairs of the nucleotide together. It is called a hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bonds are going to become important later during DNA replication and during protein synthesis. Hydrogen bonds are relatively weak and they can be broken using heat or enzymes. And that's how DNA is gonna split in half so it can do some work. To review, the double helix is the twisted ladder shape of DNA. The sugar phosphate backbone are the sides or the uprights of the ladder, and they're alternating sugar phosphate, sugar phosphate. The nitrogen bases are the letters or code of DNA, and they are A, T, C, and G. They come in base pairs, A with T and C with G. A nucleotide is one building block of DNA that contains a base, a sugar, and a phosphate group, and complementary means matching or paired sequence. So make sure that you can give me the complementary sequence of a DNA strand.